what's going on youtube welcome back to my channel hope everyone had a really wonderful thanksgiving weekend i'm here walking harley right now and i'm off to work today oh that was quick mamas hold on let me go pick up this <laughs> holding a full bag of duty is always a great way to start your morning all right so we're going to finish walking harley then we're going to go feed her and then I'm gonna pack up a bag, and then we're gonna head out. This is my day in the life. Come on, Harley. Come on, Mama. Come on, Harley. Come on, come on. Come on, Harley. Come on. Let's go. Clean your eyes. What is this? Huh? Come on. Come on. See what I gotta go through every morning? Oh my lord. Come on. Come on. Up. 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 Come on. Uh oh. I can run away from it. Get over here. Up. Come on. Hey. I got witnesses. Come on. There you go. Sorry about that. But I gotta go. I love you. Just got in the car, got my coffee, very important, almost forgot it too. So we're heading to the terminal right now and give me one second. Okay, so we're heading to the terminal now. Approximately 12 hours before my start time, they dispatched me my loads. As you can see here, I'm doing a few stops here in Arizona and I actually shut down in Vegas tonight. And then I start back up, do a few loads, and then I'm back here in Arizona. They actually have me projected to finish at around 2.30 in the morning. Well, challenge accepted because I always like to try to beat those times. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's head over to our terminal, do a pre-trip, and let's start our day. <laughs> Let's load up the truck. Let's do our pre trip. We'll start heading out. Oh. All right, I just signed into the tablet. So now we're going to go ahead and do our pre trip. By the way, I posted a pre-trip inspection and I just want to give you guys a little heads up. If you were to watch that video, you would notice in the video that I pointed this out as to be my alternator and that being my water pump. And the trucks that I learned in, the water pump and the alternator were right there exactly where I will point. In this particular truck, the water pump is somewhere underneath or inside of the engine bay that I can't get to or I haven't seen. Unless you know this truck, I don't know where it is, but 
I just want to correct it. This right here is the compressor. You can see by the hose here. This is for the air condition. The alternator down there, which is also belt driven. Right there, right? I'm not gonna touch the belt, obviously. Can be an alternator with tubes coming out of it, right? So this is for the air condition. That's the alternator. You can see wires coming out of there, right? So that's the alternator. Sorry for any confusion, but I was trying to make it a little more simpler. All right, because the, on the trucks that you're gonna learn in, it's usually right there. You know, they're not gonna want you to kind of like fish for it, right? But again, get to know and understand your particular truck. I hope that clarified things. Let's continue with our pre-trip. All right guys, I just completed my pre-trip. I'm not used to starting this late. My shift is usually six o'clock in the morning. So that means I will be up at four and I'm doing a pre-trip at five in the morning. I would normally have done day in the life, but there's no way I'm gonna have a camera on my face that early in the morning. So uh, today, because of scheduling issues, they had to give me a 2 p.m. shift. Not really happy about it because now my day is just a little longer, but I'm gonna take advantage of it and I could now give you guys a day in the life of what it is I do with JB Hunt. I'm gonna head out to one of the distribution centers. Now it's only about 10, 15 minutes away and you see the process, all right? I'm a little too early for my pickup but as you can see i am now on the amazon account all i do is i pick up an empty or a loaded trailer and i move it from one distribution center to another um i go as far as out uh west as san diego uh to about albuquerque and anywhere in between today we'll be going to las vegas as you saw earlier and right now i am bobtail part and it's waiting for the notification that my load is ready so that I'm able to connect to it and get out of here and move on. So from here, um, we're going to Glendale, back to Phoenix, back to another place in Phoenix, picking up another loaded, heading out to Vegas. So it's going to be a fun day. Uh, I'm halfway through. You're going to see me on my second <laughs> cup of coffee, I'm sure. Now we're going to sit here and play the waiting game. It is what it is. While I wait, might as well lay down. Got a long way to go anyway. <sighs> oh, it's bright out there. But load's ready. So let's go pick that up. Oh, much better. All right. A uh, load is ready and it's at door 180. So let's head to that and connect to the trailer.
just checked in at the gate. Uh, I'm about to uh, head to the door to drop this trailer off and then pick up uh, another trailer to head it to another destination. So let's get this going. I'm going to be parking the trailer into this slot right over here. Before I do that, I got to cut the seal and then open up the doors. All right, and then we'll back in. Early Christmas gifts. up the landing gear so a little, to be a little like courteous just let the pad kiss the ground and then lower the bags simple you don't have to do too much all right let's disconnect from this and get our next trailer Let's check this trail. This trailer should be an empty trailer. There you go, empty. Woo wee, it's hot outside. All right, so we have this empty trailer. We already, we already checked it. Now we're gonna take this empty trailer, move it to another DC to pick up a loaded trailer, to move that to another DC to pick up another loaded trailer where we're gonna take that to Vegas. We're not done yet.
Three six, I think. Copy that. Just a moment. Let me check in the uh, I mean, check the status of the load. A moment, please. Okay. Yes, uh, drop off the trailer at park and slip number 234. 234. And pick up, yes, and pick up the loaded trailer from Dr. 102. 102. All right, I can do that. Thank you. Sometimes there's nobody at the guard shack, so they usually have somebody work remotely uh, to check me in and out. So that's what that was about. So I'm looking for 234. Now before we pick up this trailer, nature calls. Thank you. Whew. All right, there you go. My goal was to start heading out to Vegas while there's still daylight. I still have to fuel up. So we're gonna head out to the uh, fuel station, fuel up, then we're gonna head out to Vegas. I got fuel, I got a couple of snacks. Now we're heading out to Vegas, looking about right under five hours. I should be there by 10.30, which is good because I'm projected to actually be there uh, by 11.30, so I'm actually about an hour early. So hopefully there's no traffic or anything like that.
here, made it in Vegas safe. I am tired. Right, let's go and check in. Five, five, seven. Where, and what was we pick up? Six three zero. All right, thank you. All right, it's really one thirty in the morning, but my body is at two thirty in the morning Arizona time. So, but I did shut down for the night. I'm only about a block away from uh, where I have to pick up my next delivery for tomorrow. Um, I'm just really going there and then heading back to Arizona. So tomorrow should be a pretty simple day. I'm going to knock out right now. So I'm just gonna shut down here and start back up tomorrow. All right, have a good night, guys.